Alright, we're back. Okay, so... Hold on a second, there's a mouse cursor in the middle of the screen. Alright, let's, uh... Actually, first we should go ahead and take a look at the journal. Um... Okay, so there's... This is currently what we're doing, I guess. Uh, as the Inquisition's power grows, it gains enemies in equal measure. It will take an iron wall to bring Thetis back from the Brink of Chaos, but that is precisely what must be done. And, uh, more specifically, the Wrath of Heaven. The Temple of Sacred Ashes was at the heart of the blast that tore open the sky. Reach the temple and see what can be done. And right now I have to reach the temple through the mountain path, which is what I chose to do in the last video. Um... Haven once offered respite for pilgrims traveling to the uh, Temple of Sacred Ashes farther into the Frostback uh, Mountains. In the wake of the temple's destruction, the storied village, which was also home to a dragon-worshipping cult uh, during the Fifth Blight, now serves as a makeshift camp for those working to pick up the pieces. Um, some items recovered in battle may later be worth studying. Alright, cool. Well, let's climb up this little thing right here. I have uh, since installed a new driver, so hopefully the game doesn't uh, crash every 30 minutes like it was before. The um, tunnel should be just ahead. The path to the temple lies just beyond it. What manner of tunnel is this? A mine? Part of an old mining complex. These mountains are full of such paths. And your missing soldiers are in there somewhere? Along with whatever has detained them. We shall see soon enough. Are you guys going to hurry up? You're taking quite a bit of time to get up here. Just in case I get attacked, I'd be kind of fucked. Just saying. Uh-oh. Can I sneak? Okay. Oh, that's a greater shade. That's not good. Uh, no. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Wait, no, I have the other power. Uh, I don't have a bow and arrow, so it doesn't matter. Um, you... Is there any other powers that she might have? Nope. Okay. You do that. God damn it. And you freeze him. And then... You... Swoop in and shoot the son of a bitch. Okay. Advance time. Alright, now I should probably go ahead and exit. Uh. God damn it! Okay, alright, I got better control now. I was having a hard time getting control of my character. Okay. Much better. Oh, there's still one over there. One down. I did it. It was me. It was all me. Okay, so... What I was saying is kind of dark in certain areas. Hopefully I'll be able to adjust the character. I read uh, in the comments that apparently um, I have to go into makeup and take off the glossy looking feature. Um, on my character's lips. I didn't realize that it would, like, I would think that it would just start with that stuff off. But apparently you have, like, a small glossiness to your lips to begin with. I don't really know why, but, um, that's, you know, whatever. It's just kind of distracting to me, but, um, hopefully I'll be able to adjust it later on. I'd be surprised if I weren't allowed to. Do I have, like, just some sort of light illuminating from me? Because every single time I walk to a darker path, it lights up. Or maybe it's just game logic. That's probably what it is. Uh, oh, a dagger and a shield. Perfect. Oh, I wish I could take that with me. That would be cool. Alright, so let's uh, go to the inventory. Is there anybody who could use... The shield. I can't use the shield. Um, I can use the stiletto, though. To replace one of these. There you go. Now I will access her. What? Can you? You can use the shield. What shield do you currently have? 
All right, no, that's an upgrade. So there you go. You're welcome. I like managing my characters like this. It's uh, something that was in the original Mass Effect that they kind of just ditched after that. Um, that I wasn't very fond of. I didn't like that uh, they got rid of that aspect of the game. Um, so I'm really happy that they're deciding to uh, go back to that. All right. Do hmm. Do I have my do I have the stiletto? They look pretty similar. <laughs> Uh, let's, I just want to go back in, just make sure that I currently have the stiletto. Yeah, it's equipped, it just looks identical to the old sword, which is unfortunate, but okay. Alright, so. I think I'm gonna really enjoy this game. I, I'm, so far, I'm into it, I'm interested, I'm immersed, and I'm liking it. I'm going to try to make these videos longer just because, you know, it's an RPG, so it's, you know, it's more, you know, they're, they're, it's more downtime, I think, than something like Far Cry 4 would be. So, it, I think it makes sense for me to, you know, have longer videos with this stuff. So, probably 30 minutes to an hour per vid would probably be a good idea. Um, I might start up, I, I, I'm not going to guarantee this, but I might start up 60 frames pretty soon. Um, but I'm still noticing some lag every once in a while. It's just, it's not even lag, it's like stutter. It's like it goes down to 45 for a split second, then goes back up. It's just, it's distracting and it breaks immersion. Um, and even with the new driver, it still does that, so I'm not quite sure. And it's, it does it on every single, uh, setting. Help me! I mean, you're already kind of helping me, but still, help me more. But yeah, actually, I'm glad that I'm not an archer, because that would probably hurt the dynamic of uh, this little setup we have going on. We have two ranged guys between magic and crossbow, and we have two hand-to-hand um, -hand guys between me and Cassandra. So I think I made a good choice by being a scout, or not a scout, by being a, being a dual-wield rogue. I think that was a good idea. Seems like I'm the only one in the group that ever takes damage. <laughs> Guess we found the soldiers. That cannot be all of them. So the others could be holed up ahead. Our priority must be the breach. Unless we see it soon, no one is safe. I'm leaving that to the man with the glowing hand. There's also a little bit of an audio flicker every once in a while. Like, it just kind of... I don't know, cuts out for a split second and then goes back. Or kind of repeat something that was just said. Uh, I don't know why that happens. It might be because of the overlaying programs with Fraps and uh, Audacity, but I'm not sure. Okay, attack. Haha. -ha. I... What the fuck is this? Lady Cassandra! Lieutenant, you're alive! Just barely. What the fuck is that thing? Just keep fighting! Before. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it works on the big one. Thank the maker you finally arrived, Lady Cassandra. I don't think we could have held out much longer. You can thank me. Thank our prisoner, Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. He insisted we come this way. The prisoner? Then you... Saved your ass. Uh... Yeah, let's go with that. It was worth saving you. If we could. Then you have my sincere gratitude. The way into the valley behind us is clear for the moment. Go while you still can. At once. Quickly, let's move! The path ahead appears to be clear of demons as well. Let's hurry before that changes. 
I don't know. When I was first going into this game, I was kind of hoping to start off Down as... The ladder. That's the way to the Ooh. temple. Ooh, both of those things I can use. Uh, I was hoping to kind of start off as an asshole that, like, progressively turns into somebody that's not a total asshole. Um... You know, kind of manufacture my own sort of character progression, which I think it would be kind of cool. Um, but I'm thinking that the way this game is structured, um, or has started out, that might not be the best of ideas. Hold on a sec. Wait, what? Oh, so I can't do both at the same time? That's kind of fucking stupid. Wait, so... I can only have either the cro uh, either the bow or the dual wield. I can't make them interchangeable. Then what was the point of even adding that stuff? It feels kind of stupid. Um, I don't know. I'm not too fond of that. Or can I just do one? No, it takes up both of them. God damn it. All right, fine. Whatever. Uh, maybe now that I have the bow, I can at least, like, use my special attack. Or maybe I can't. I don't know. Um, but I can use the helmets. That, uh, no, I can't. Jake does not meet all the requirements to f uh, equip fire resistance cowl. Um, oh, so a dwarf, an elf, and a human cannot wear that. So only the canari can? That's only something a canari can wear. Yeah, she does not. She, I mean, yeah, elf, dwarf. Yeah, so none of these people can wear this. So never mind, it was useless. Fuck. Alright, well, that's too bad. I was really hoping to be able to wear that thing. Um, but that's alright, whatever. I'll, fi I'll find my own helmet. I'll sell this one, and I'll find, a, find one I can wear. I noticed that uh, Cassandra's armor seems to be able to um, replenish, which is kind of strange. Whoa, fuck! That was not intentional. Shit. They probably shouldn't have the jump button and the action button be the same thing, or at least for this area, just because that can happen. So, holes in the fade don't just accidentally happen, right? If enough magic is brought to bear, it is possible. But there are easier ways to make things explode. That is true. We will consider how this happened once the immediate danger is past. I'm regretting now that I added the power for the bow, because I'm probably not going to use it very much, because every single time I want to use it, I'd have to go into my inventory and switch my weapon, which is just kind of, you know, in, ga in battle that's time-consuming, and it's, I don't know. The Temple of Sacred Ashes. What's left of it? That is where you walked out of the Fade, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Like, people, keep, people keep on telling me that. It's not really helping me with anything. It'd be nice to, like, be told what she looked like, perhaps. Was she, like, that green figure that I saw before? Ooh, a Templar helmet. That would be helpful, I hope. I'd like to think it would. Uh, no, not that. God damn it. Um, no, not... There we go. Um, fire resistance cowl. Can't re wear that, but I can wear the Templar helmet, it appears. Yes, I can. I look like a dick, but I can wear it. <laughs> I really look stupid with this thing on, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't think that they are allowed to wear the Templar helmet. So it wouldn't really matter. Besides, I, I have the lowest armor rating of the group anyway, so it's probably smartest for me to wear it. I don't like helmets that cover my face, though, consistently. I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of takes away from the whole, like, character customization aspect. So if I can find a helmet that doesn't do this later, I will prefer it, even if it's slightly lower armor rating. Just for the aesthetics of it, more than anything. And it's gone, never mind.
You're here. Thank the Maker. Liliana, have your men take up positions around the temple. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? Um... I'm assuming you have a plan to get me up there. No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Oh, great, so I don't know then what the fuck I'm doing. Way down and be careful. No plan, we're just gonna go into the giant green orb, completely ill-advised and, um... No plan, just just gonna do it. Great idea. Brilliant. Now is the hour of our victory. Bring forth the sacrifice. Who's the what sacrifice? Are we hearing? At a guess, the person who created the breach. Alright, I'm starting to like this. Like in the aspect of the story, in terms of me having to deal with it, not so much, but. I like creepiness. I like whenever something adds creepiness to a game. You know, same thing happened with the Reapers in Mass Effect. this stuff is Red Lyrium Seeker. I see it, Beric. But what's it doing here? Magic could have drawn on Lyrium beneath the temple, corrupted it. <laughs> it's evil. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Brilliant, Beric. Divine Justinia's voice. Yep, fuck that. Let's go back. Good luck, Justinia. I'm not... I'm not... No. Uh, I don't want to do this. called out to you, but... What's going on here? Run while you can! Warn them! We have an intruder. Kill him, now. No, don't do that. There. Who attacked? And the Divine, is she? Was this vision true? What are we seeing? I don't remember. Echoes of what happened here. The Fade bleeds into this place. This rift is not sealed, but it is closed. Albeit temporarily. I believe that with the Mark, the rift can be opened. And then sealed properly and safely. However, opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side. That means demons! Stand ready! Oh, this is fantastic. Alright, you guys handle this. <laughs> Stop laughing. Don't be a dick. We must strip its defenses. Wear it down. How do you suggest doing that? Because currently what I'm doing is not working. He's immune to what I'm doing. Uh, evidently. Okay, you can. Oh, dumbass! Of course. The demon is vulnerable. Now 
Hold on. Ow. I can't disrupt the rift. Oh shit. Why are they attacking me in- well, I think it's pretty obvious why they're attacking me in particular. Ow. Alright, um... Here, you can take that. Oh, I have like- oh no, I'm playing a her. Dumbass, of course. This is tough. You won't die. Help me. There we go. Much better. Uh, she can't use healing potion. Eric's in some trouble. Yeah, I know I need to switch to Varric. Ah, well, I can't currently access that, so awesome. But we've almost got him. Now, seal the rift. Oh. How? There we go. Do it. Lip gloss. Oh! I didn't know you were awake, I swear. Why are you frightened? What happened? That's wrong, isn't it? I said the wrong thing. I don't think so. I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You're back in Haven, my lord. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. So you're saying they're happy they're with me? I'm only saying what I heard. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. Oh, God, I so have makeup on.
God damn it. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. I don't know, I might just, like, restart my game up to this point after I'm finished with the, rec uh, with the recording. I'll have the same basic looking character, but I gotta get rid of that makeup stuff, it's too distracting. Like, I, I think he has blush on as well. And that's just, eh. Not the character I'm looking for. Um... Yeah, okay, I'll take that stuff. And we'll read this. Patient observations. Vane hopes someone better at this, uh, someone better at this than me takes over before the survivor expires. Notes in case. Day one, clammy, shallow breathing, uh, pulse over fast, not responsive, pupils dilated. Mage says his scarring mark is thrumming, uh, with unknown magic. Uh, wish we could station a Templar in here just in case. Eh, fuck those Templars. Okay, nothing in here. Nothing else, I should say. Do I have my... Ah, no, I do not have my swords. What? Where's my helmet? What is this? Oh. Kneel before your god. You're not kneeling. I just, uh, one second. All of you, just one second. I'm gonna just, uh, see if there's anything, he anything in here that I might be able to pick up. I know that all of you are anxiously awaiting your master's arrival. Ooh. Nice. Okay. I will walk all gingerly and slow and majestically. That's right. Excuse me, sir. This is so anticlimactic. <laughs> Alright, uh... Nope, all right. This place is pointless. Have it burned. I can't go that way. All right, fuck it. Let's, all right, stop stalling. Oh, you're a person I can talk to. I believe Seeker Cassandra went to speak with you. Thank you for your input. Okay, find Cassandra in the Chantry. Oh, wait, that's another thing I didn't read very much about. I know it's regarding magic and mages and stuff like that, the Chantry, and it's uh, something uh, something to do with religion, I believe. But uh, if anybody can explain to me a little bit more about that, I would appreciate it. I'll probably just end up reading about it if nobody does, but I'd like to know more. Um, oh, this is a song? No, we're not si I'm sorry, I'm not singing. It's not no. You're never going to hear me sing. Him. He stopped the breach from getting any bigger. I heard he was supposed to close it entirely. Still, it's more than anyone else has done. Demons would have had us otherwise. Guards have her killed. Bitch. I'm like right here. Still a lot of rifts left all over. You don't have to be that inconsiderate to somebody who's right in front of you. Walk safely, Harold of Andraste. All right. If there's nothing in this room, or in this uh, house right here, I'm just going to stop dicking around and I'm going to go to Cassandra because I'm sure a lot of you want to see what's going on there. Um, patient observations day three. Less thrashing, some response to stimulus. Vitals seem solid. Two attempts so far by locals, excuse me, to break into the Chantry to kill my patient. All this work to save his life and will they just execute him? We'll inform Lady Cassandra. I expect him to wake before the morn. Obviously, this is like all these notes that are being taken about me, the patient, um, are before, uh, you know, closing the rift, because they're, like, revering me now. Either that or they're afraid of me. It's one of the two. What's up, Thren? Not taking orders right now. Got a problem with it? Bring it up with Cassandra. Got a mouthy one here. Oh, these, these do things. Um, Dragonling Scales. Tier 1, Common Leather, Offense Slot. Oh, so it's like a rune, in a sense, I guess. So it helps with Dexterity. Um, fire Damage Resistance. Okay. This one, Drake Stone, Low Armor Rating, Damage, Staff, blah, 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 blah. Constitution, Health. Yeah, I'll take that stuff. Let's see if I can apply it currently. 
I hope you, uh, I'm gonna leave all this stuff in. If you guys want this stuff edited out, be, uh, go ahead and let me know. Um, I said in the previous video, like, I'm kind of just keeping this stuff in just in case, uh, you know, it is something that you guys like for, like, the Im purpose of immersion and all that. But, uh, if it annoys you, then I will remove it and I will just stick to the main stuff. How do I add those? Yeah, move that to valuables. I don't know where valuables are, but... Oh, there they are. Armor schematics? No. Weapon schematics? No. Hmm. Oh, okay, so that's for crafting. How do I craft? There's probably, like, some sort of crafting table. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that right now. But, uh, let's take a look at upgrades real quick. Is there... Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay. Actually, I, sh I should probably save. There we go. Haven't saved in a while, so that's a good thing I did. But it seems like the crashing problem's gone. I just needed to update my driver. Which, uh, wasn't released until after the first part, so there's that. Okay. Enough messing around. Cool. Hmm. This is a big place. Uh, the Fade. The study of the Fade is as old as humankind. For so long as men have dreamed, we have walked its twisting paths, sometimes catching a glimpse of the city at its heart. But always as close as our own thoughts, but impossibly separated from our world. The Tevinter Imperium once spent uh, vast fortunes of gold, lyrium, and human slaves in an effort to map the terrain of the Fade, an ultimately futile uh, endeavor. Although portions of it belong to powerful spirits, all the Fade is in constant flux. The Imperium succeeded in finding the disparate and... Wait. The disparate uh, and ever-shifting realms of a dozen demon lords, as well as cataloging a few hundred types of spirits before they were forced to abandon the project. The relationship of dreamers to the Fade is complex, even when entering the Fade through the, uh, the use of lyrium. Mortals are not able to control or affect it. The spirits who dwell there, however, can, and as the Chantry teaches us, the great flaw of the spirits is what uh, they, uh, uh, excuse me, what they have neither imagination nor ambition. They create what they see through their sleeping visitors, building elaborate copies of our cities, people, and events, which, like the reflections in a mirror, ultimately lack context or life of their own. Even the most powerful demons merely plagiarize the worst thoughts and fears of mortals and build their realms with no other ambition than to taste life. From tranquility and blah blah blah. Yay, we're reading. Uh, a chant of the de for the de no. This is another song. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Uh, there's a door there. Whoa. He should be taken to Val Royo immediately to be tried by whomever becomes divine. I guess that door. I do not believe he is guilty. The prisoner failed. Damn, this place is big. Shit. This is a lot. I did not expect to be able to explore this much so early on. Ooh, I can probably give that to, uh, whoever the fuck, that one guy. Um, founding of the Chantry, Cordelius Dracon, king of the, what, what's that? Oh. Uh, king of the city-state of Orleus, uh, was a man of uncommon ambition. In the year, um, negative 15, I guess? Ancient. Uh, the young king began construction of a great temple dedicated to the Maker, and declared that by its com uh, completion, we not only have united the warring city-states of the South, uh, South, South, <laughs> uh, of the South, he would have brought Andrastian belief to the world. In Negative Three Ancient, the temple was completed there in its heart. Draken knelt before the eternal flame of Andraste and was crowned ruler of the Empire of Orleus. Uh, his first act as emperor to declare the Chantry as the established Andrastian uh, religion of the empire. It took three years and several hundred votes before Olissa and Montebsuchenberg uh, was elected was elected to lead the new Chantry. Uh, upon her co confrontation as divine, she took the name Justinia, 
There you go. In honor of the d disciple who recorded and jo and my God, I'm so sorry, and Droste's songs. In that moment, the ancient era ended and the divine age began. Yeah, I guess we're in the divine age currently. I'm sure plenty of people are just like, ugh, just get on with the game. So I will do that. Chain him! I want him prepared for travel to the capital for trial. No, oh, suck my dick. Disregard that and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result in so far as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to him for help. So his survival, that thing on his hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. Yeah, I am the chosen one, bitch. Um, but I'm not gonna say that because it just sounds so pompous. Uh, are you serious? You believe I'm innocent, blessed by the Maker? Um... Oh, I am not a chosen one. I thought that said I am a chosen one, but uh I don't know. I don't know. This is this is interesting. I li I like this. There's like a sort of correlation between each one. It kind of develops your character through dialogue, which I like. I really like that actually. It's something I felt like Mass Effect was missing. Um I'm going to go with that. You can't honestly believe I'm any kind of chosen one. We are all subject to the will of the maker. Whether we wish it or not, no matter what you are or what you believe, you are exactly what we needed when we needed it. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. Yeah, that's the name of the we game. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers, and now no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. What is the Inquisition of old, exactly? It preceded the Chantry. People who banded together to restore order in a world gone mad. After, they laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order, but the Templars have lost their way. We need those who can do what must be done, united under a single banner once more. But aren't you still part of the Chantry? <laughs> Is that what you see? The Chantry will take time to find a new Divine. And then it will wait for her direction. But we cannot wait. So many Grand Clerics died at the Conclave. No, we are on our own. Perhaps forever. Bit dramatic. You're trying to start a holy war. We are already at war. You are already involved. Its mark is upon you. As to whether the war is holy, that depends on what we discover. What if I refuse? You can go if you wish. You should know that while some believe you chosen, many still think you guilty. The Inquisition can only protect you if you are with us. We can also help you. It will not be easy if you stay. But you cannot pretend this has not changed you. 
Hmm. I don't know. I want to... I, I feel like my... Like, I would... My character would be, like, reluctant to want to, you know, undergo something like this. But at the same time, it wouldn't really fall in line with everything I've done up to this point. Um... Hmm. When I woke up, I suddenly didn't picture this outcome. Neither did we. Help us fix this before it's too late. 